Hello everyone, it's Suzanne Harmony with Harmony Helps. Um, this evening I wanted to talk to you about forks in the road and roundabouts. Um, this idea came to me as I was thinking about how there are more and more roundabouts showing up on our roads and how our life is sometimes hmm, met with roundabouts rather than forks in the road these days. When we meet up with a fork in the road, it's usually in um, a not so populated area where we're not so rushed to make a decision. And um, the fork in the road is a two-way choice right or left and um either way we can go a little bit down the road and say oh i think i made the wrong turn and turn around perhaps and then go back and easily do the next choice whereas when we're faced with a roundabout which have been designed to ironically uh, reduce <laughs> traffic accidents and reduce the speed on crazy busy highways, kind of create a diversion, keep people awake. Um, I don't think it has the same effect. And much like life is these days, I think it's creating some stress, just like our life and how we sometimes have to navigate the roundabouts in our life because on a roundabout, we have to think quickly and we have to watch everyone else merging in and leaving and deciding before we get on it, where are we gonna go? Which lane do we have to be in? Oh my gosh, there's a transport. I can't really see if, if he's gonna block where I have to exit. All of those things, and do I slow down? Do I speed up? I, I think there's a lot of anxiety that goes into these roundabouts, just like when we have big decisions to make in life at any stage in our life. And I don't know about you, but I've been feeling lately with the big roundabouts that are coming to, we have a super moon coming on Wednesday and I'm already sensing the energy of that. And I feel like I'm merging onto this big roundabout. And I know that I have to breathe through it. I have to maybe look at the map one more time and if there's a diversion, if there's another way that I can get around the city without taking that roundabout, I might just do that. And so I think in life we, we have these choices, but sometimes we don't. And sometimes other people are making decisions at the same time that we are that affect us. And we're not always happy about those decisions but literally we have to go with the flow. And if anything that these roundabouts in life are teaching us, it's to just go with the flow. And so I'm not creating this little live video to create more anxiety. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this to congratulate you all for managing the roundabouts in life. And um, probably if you're as mature as I am, you've met some forks in the road and learned a thing or two along the way uh, without regrets, it's just, it's called wisdom now. And um, so love the forks in the road and learn to brace yourself for the roundabouts because there's more and more and more. We know that you can do this and know that everyone who merges onto these going somewhere all want to get to another place. And you can cringe, but you have to keep your eyes open and you have to keep yourself aware. I know that with patience and breath and kindness, there won't be any bumps along the way and that they were designed to create less stress. And so breathe through it and know that you can do it. And if you have to go around it a couple of times, then do it. <laughs> because you'll get used to it and 
use your indicators. Oh my gosh, I love people who use their indicators. Do it, that's what you have it for. <laughs> use the indicators, signal to people your intention, where you're going, when you're going, and don't put it on way ahead of the time. If, if you're not gonna go out that exit, don't put it on yet. Just intend what you're intending to do when you are. And it teaches us so much about patience and kindness and unity and working literally in harmony. And so embrace these roundabouts in life as we come up to this super duper moon on July 13th on Wednesday. But in all of life, as we go through it, and not to be afraid to go around again and go around again, and then be proud of yourself when you do. <sighs> and bless the people who are on it with you that you're all going to get through it and rather than say mm, f you or something just say bless you bless you bless you bless you yes and laugh your way through it i I've, I've had to make some incredible decisions lately too that surprised me i love surprising myself even when i treat clients too you know the other thing that I do when I when I treat clients as as a psychic medium that I am and all of that stuff and, and it's fun when I have you know two people or more together and they talk to each other and say well you told her you told her and it's like no I don't or when or when people's um, loved ones come when the past ones come along <laughs> and they show me who they are they tell me I I'm all sentient so I see hear feel and smell and I just know and they show me who they are in their character and so then I am um, I interpret their character I give the messages to the people receiving and and they're always shocked and but then so am I I'm always surprised and so it's kind of like every time I receive somebody I too am getting on this merge we're merging together all of the energies all of the energies and it's healing because it's a reveal to heal. And so as we get on this roundabout, not knowing what to expect, and I really don't, it's a surprise for me too, but that's the beauty of it. And then it's a relief because whatever we go through on this roundabout, whether it's on the highway, it's all of life, whether it's news from a past loved one, whether it's something coming from the future, whether it's something healing from the past, all of it comes together, it merges, but it comes as a surprise, but a good surprise. And it's fun and it's exciting and it's such a relief because then when people leave, they're like, wow, that was so amazing. And it's also confirmation in a sense that they got on it knowing they were gonna find something out and they did and it was more than they expected, and they leave refreshed and relieved, and so do the people above, or the, any of the energy, energies that have been with them, just like it happens to you when you get on that merge. You're not sure what you're gonna get, or what you're getting onto, or other vehicles, what are they doing, what are they going through, but you get through it, and then you carry on in your destination, and even when you get to where you're going, you've already forgotten about that anxiety or excitement of that merge. But you went away and you got there stronger, better for the whole experience. And so welcome the merges and the roundabouts in your life, not just the forks in the road. Forks in the road were simple. What's coming to us are roundabouts. And how are you going to get through it? by holding on to your wits. <laughs> Keep your wits about you on those roundabouts. <laughs> and know that you're not in any of this alone. And be pleasantly surprised, always, by the wisdom that you have, by the strength you have to get through even the biggest challenges, even the surprises in life that come to you. You've got this. So I hope this helps as I was spinning around with the whole idea of roundabouts and that there's more and more of them coming. So they're there on purpose to save on traffic lights for heaven's sakes <laughs> and to keep us safe. So be safe out there. 
and know that you can handle everything that's coming to you in a roundabout way. I'm Suzanne Harmony with Harmony Helps. Check me out at harmonyhelps.ca and I hope that helps. You got this in a roundabout way. Ciao!